Hey Virgos, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe if you enjoy this video. And for those of you who have been here since the beginning, welcome back, welcome back. And hello to all my mods. You guys are so awesome and I love you so much, truly. Um, so just so you know, this is a general love reading for the rest of December going into the first half of January. Um, so please be mindful. These are general love messages. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. So just take what fits. Don't try to force anything. Um, if you would like to become a member of my channel, just go um, click the join button. And once you join, you can pop into the live chats um, where I will be doing mini card readings. And you can um, ask unlimited amount of questions once you become a member. Pay the monthly fee. You can, um, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> sorry, my goodness. You can also um, opt out at any time. Okay, personal reading link is below this video. I also have merchandise down below as well. All right, you guys, let's get into your reading. What kind of drama? <laughs> Some days, you know, it's funny, you guys, some days your messages are very clear cut and they're sweet and everything's going well. And other times it feels like, um, you know, a really difficult situation. Okay. So just be mindful that because the messages come up just about every day, they won't always resonate with your situation. All right. So let's see. What are the love messages here? Let's get started. Love messages for Virgos, Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. Okay. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Okay. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life and give your relationship a chance. Okay, so I feel like there's a situation here or a relationship or some type of connection that you have with someone where um, somebody does have very strong romantic feelings for you or will going forward, but it's not the right time for you two to come together, okay? Um, I do see a desire to work on this partnership and try to make something work here, um, but it feels like it's all resting on divine timing, okay? So that means it's requiring a lot of patience. Let's take a look and see what the love messages are here. What else do we, does Virgo need to know about their love lives? Anybody new coming in? Uh, any past lovers? A current relationship situation? What does spirit want you to know? Okay. Well, right out of the gate. Page of Swords. Well, you know, you guys, whenever we have this card, there's something here about somebody spying or watching or keeping an eye on you. Okay. Um... Pages are squires. They represent youth. So there could be an element of immaturity here from someone. Okay, someone here acting in that way. Very curious. I'm just hearing curiosity killed the cat. Um, somebody is like seeking you out or watching you, um, trying to get some truthful information in regards to you. Okay, or about something. They're curious. There might be communication or text messages coming through because whenever it's a page it always feels to me like a like something written on a page so there's some kind of text message of some sort coming through definitely maybe around the holidays for some of you um you you're gonna hear somebody i don't feel like somebody's reaching out to try to make uh, trouble or cause any problems um I don't feel like it, there's cruel intentions with this. I feel like there's this curiosity, this desire to know or to get some information. Um, what are you doing? What have you been doing? Or what's your life like? Um, uh, this could be somebody new that you're currently communicating with online. Um, or you met someone and there's it's just like talking right now where there's like an information gathering, asking questions. What do you do for a living? Um, where do you live? Do you have children? Were you ever married? You know, kind of getting like the deets about a situation. Okay, so we have Aquarian energy here for some of you also. This could be um, somebody is a public figure in the public eye. Um, 
uh, somebody who's very hopeful about uh, something could ha actually be happening here to work on a relationship or a partnership. Um, there may be an element of renewing a relationship from the past for some of you. You could have someone from your past um, trying to get information uh, or to try to have like um, a restart with you. For others, there could be a child who's like a messenger between two people. <laughs> trying to find out like what's going on with you. It could be an ex. If you have a child with an ex, they could be communicating, trying to find out if you are, like if there's any hope left in a relationship. And that may not be your story for some of you. It's just somebody's communicating, trying to find out, you know, if you're single or if you've ever been married or um, is this a situation or relationship that can turn into something more. All right, let's see what else is going on here. Um, someone's trying to, I feel like they're trying to get clarity. Um, for others, there's this energy where someone, I don't know who they are, is feeling like, like they're having faith. Um, it's like a miracle. Some of you, you're going to get communication unexpected. It's going to be like a damn miracle. You're going to feel like, I cannot believe that somebody reached out and they're curious or they're interested. Um, it feels kind of like a surprise kind of thing like oh my god it's a miracle this person's contacted again that kind of energy oh gosh yeah see you've got the knight of cups so there's definitely like an admirer or someone you're connected to who um is really in love with you virgo you know like somebody hugs their pillow at night <laughs> thinking it's you um, or maybe you do that with somebody it, it's very romantic there's like a romantic proposal an offer for a date or to go out somewhere or to spend time together it just feels like admiration somebody's like really smitten with you is having the feels for you could be coming in as a prince or princess charming you know very romantic offering their cup they're a bit guarded Okay, because they do have their suit of armor on here, but they come in peace as well. You know, very diplomatic or someone who just comes forward with this very romantic love or proposal or love offer. So the high priestess is here. Okay, I'm just going to put this out here, you guys. For some of you, this is a secret admirer or someone's admiring you in secret. Um... And they will be reaching out to communicate with you or to talk to you. Um, you might be silent because the queen, I'm sorry, not the queen, the high priestess sits in a position of, um, you know, very mysterious. That might be very attractive to someone. It's not like you are locked up in a room or up in the tower <laughs> and, you know, you're not communicating at all. It's just a you may not be revealing too much and i feel like this this whoever this person is finds this to be very attractive attracted to you and are kind of like developing feelings for you okay you're like a mystery they don't uh, somebody here does not that's why they're seeking information with the page of swords here seeking information about you they're trying to get inside, trying to find out. They're going to offer their love or make some kind of gesture, a romantic gesture, a proposal. Um, they're just giving me this sense, like this person is very hopeful. Now, I know some of you, I've seen some comments for like, who is this person? I don't have anybody in my life. This could be somebody new. Remember, these readings can be predictive. So I'm looking at this time period where you're listening to the video, the reading, going into the middle half of January. Okay, so this person may not have already come, may not have come yet into your life. Um, we also have Pisces energy here. <sighs> and then they're giving me the words BJ. So you take that however you like. <laughs> if this was someone you were connected with and there was like some physical intimacy that that was like the one thing that somebody really enjoys or enjoyed 
within the connection. Now, is this person coming in just to get a BJ or um, coming in to just give one? I mean, <laughs> I can just imagine what the chat looks like right now. I mean, it's possible. <laughs> But yeah, you know, I'm not really going to make a judgment call on that. You know, you guys all live your lives the way you want. <laughs> there is definitely some communication. I feel like somebody is here and they are like, there could be travel, could be, there could be an offer for travel or somebody wants to connect with you from a distance waiting to hear back from you. I feel like a lot of you are in silent mode at this time. Maybe you have other things going on in your life. And you really can't um, give this your full attention or you may not be able to going forward. But I also kind of feel like it may not have anything to do with someone from the past that you're just ignoring for a few of you. It could just be that you've just got other things going on. All right. I just have to tell you that there's some restrictions here. So restrictions to do with travel. Okay. Someone is, is in this position of, it kind of feels like they're taking the power back. Somebody's taking their power back here, but they're doing it in a way where they're kind of like in the victim stance. You know, some people are aggressive, some people are passive. This person's taking a passive passive aggression um they're they're trying to take it's weird to say it feels like somebody's trying to take control of a situation by not trying to control it i hope you understand that it's it's a little bit of an oxymoron instead of um somebody just grabbing the reins and and going forward or grabbing your hair <laughs> going forward it feels more like this person is taking more of a passive role but definitely reciprocating willing to reciprocate to give and to share is how I feel you've got somebody here who's just dreaming about you this person sees you in their dreams they want to share this person I feel they're telling me may have difficulty with sharing um, they might have been a bit self-centered or self uh, just needing more of the needing to be given more than to be able to share. I feel like this person in this position thinks about how, what it be like, what it would be like to actually be type of person that's able to share. And I feel like this has been on their mind. I, I just get a sense that you were, you may have been involved in the past with someone who took more than they gave. Um, I feel like this person is kind of healing from that energy because we have the four swords so that's like um recovery they're recovering from that um seeing that perhaps they were taking too much from you and not reciprocating in return and i feel like this person does want you to give but they want to be able to give as well okay um it's weird i don't know what's that's a very deep thing but there's an energy here um of exchange and I feel like this person lays in bed at night and thinks about you know ways that they can give to you or ways that they would be able to provide for you not just financially okay Virgo um, but to help or to be generous I feel like this person really wants to give something to you let's see this person has a tendency sometimes to self-sabotage or they they have that you'll you'll find out find that out about them going forward or it's someone that you were connected with in the past that has a tendency to do that and i feel like they're looking past that seeing how um they need to be more generous in their relationship so you're definitely it's a good thing virgo okay so we have the sun so there's leo energy here okay and then the page of pentacles so i feel like this person has a lot of plans and ideas um they want to bring you warmth and joy so there will be some communication um there may be some communication about um the thinking about buying a ticket to travel somewhere warm i just heard 
or um, whether it's them to a warm place or you to a warm place or to travel away from a warm place to a cold place, which who in their right mind does that? <laughs> but I'm not sure. I don't know what your situation is or where you're from, where you live, where you're at. Let's see what else is going on here. Okay. Coming home. So home might be a warm place for somebody or okay let's see fantasizing wow this person it's 11 11 energy here fantasizing about or dreaming or thinking about building a foundation with you okay um or having a stable connection planning uh there's a lot of planning energy here putting out the good vibes to make things better with the sun Having success, a joyous outcome. I feel like this person knows the way to do this. And they've definitely been thinking, you know, in their mind. They already know what they need to do to make you happy. Okay? Somebody new, somebody old. You know, I mean, you're meeting somebody who's definitely come in or is coming in to your life if they haven't already. If it's a new person who's coming in, who's got baggage um, and lessons, that they've learned from past relationships, right? Could even be somebody from your past as well. I feel like this Seven of Cups energy, this is like inner awareness, wisdom, insight. This person is, I feel like, I wanna show you. Somebody was born in 1974. Um, these are two very opposing energies here. This is like difficulty committing having too many options on the table and this is actually marriage so the contrast here right and that's what I feel like this this person when they meet you they know that you're not playing games you're not looking for anything casual they'll either know that ahead of time <clears throat> or they you'll tell them um, whether this is old or new you'll tell them that this is what you're looking for a stable relationship the 11 11 the uh, a relationship that's got a strong foundation that you can both build upon because these four wands represent structure and balance okay um there might be something to do as well with the holidays somebody's holidays at home celebrating talking about um maybe for some of you just it's like um It kind of feels like, uh, like, so fantasy, like being in a dream state, like uh, celebrating, drinking, being merry, that kind of thing, spending time together. It's very beautiful, joyous, happiness, that type of energy. Um, there's somebody here. All right, so I just want to tell you, they just gave me this message. Okay, it's definitely around the holidays because we have a wreath. Um, so this person has a lot of jewels or there's jewelry around them. Okay. There's something to do. They could be also, uh, there's something to do with dragons, passion, fire. Um, beauty or um, aesthetic, uh, aesthetic, physical looks, something to do with that. And also a home on a hill. <laughs> I'm hearing like a home in a hill. Um, somebody could be you're the dragon, you're the snake as well. It does, and if it's not um, something that you recognize in another person, it doesn't mean it's not your story. It's just they want me to. I just saw, I just saw like um, a figure head, like a doll head, like a dummy head. Somebody does like um, cosmetology, or maybe somebody cuts hair. I'm also picking that up here. Okay, that's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, Five of Swords. Oh my goodness. Five of Swords and the Lovers. This is like, this feels like somebody here is like done with their past. They've cut everything and everyone out. Um, 
they're, they're breaking some hearts to have this love connection with you. It feels very much like a, an ascended twin flame type of connection here. Okay, that five of swords, total change and realignment to be in um, a deep partnership with you and to have the, the love of a lifetime. And I feel like you are the love of their lifetime and you will be um, if it's somebody new here for you. Gemini energy here. <clears throat> I feel like somebody, they might have had others in their life, um, maybe two other people, or, you know, it could have been past relationships or marriages or other people they were talking to. It feels like this person, um, it's not, I feel like they're getting, that they're done with all that, okay? And I don't feel like this person, as of yet, is this is a big risk for them. This person isn't coming towards you because they're just saying, oh, to hell with it, I'm going to do it. It's more coming because they are so infatuated with you, or they just have this admiration, or they will going forward. There's just like, wow, like you wow them, Virgo. There's something about your, the way you look, the way you speak, the way the way you dress, how you carry yourself. I mean, very strong admiration, so much that they're spying or they're watching you. Okay, so when I'm calling out the signs, take note of that. Like I said, there's Aquarius, there's Pisces, I see Cancer, I see Leo, I see Gemini, Energy. There's Pisces again, Hangman, and there's you. Wow, Virgo. This person, for some it could be another Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, but this person is seeing you in a whole new light. Oh my gosh, why? What did you do, Virgo? What did you do? <laughs> or what are you doing? that you've got this person like hanging from a tree and seeing things completely different. Like you've rocked their world. You've changed their viewpoint. You've changed their thinking. I mean, so much so that this person is like ready to sacrifice for you. Wow. Or just, I don't know if you might not have even met this person yet. And if you do, it's going to be one of those things like, wow, I never felt love like this before. I've never felt this way about anybody before. And like, you're the reason that I just want to do whatever I can to make this happen. Just your presence alone. Virgo. That's a Christmas wish here. And that's even just having the star here. You're like this person. I feel like they meet you. They see you somewhere. And you just seem like a wish come true to them. They can't even believe if, if they communicate with you and you respond that you're even talking to them or giving them the time of day. <clears throat> and I know, Virgo, you're just like, what? What? I know, Virgo, you don't think that. Like you, I mean, Virgo, you're hum you eat the bits of humble pie all the time. You might think that you're a wonderful person, but you don't ever really view yourself as, you know, up on top of like, everybody else you have your self-worth and your self-love or you're gaining that back again but this person seems to hold on this person seems to hold you on a pedestal or will be going forward i mean it's just really amazing <laughs> nine, of, nine of ones and okay <sighs> Yeah, okay, so they just said that they kind of have this thing, they or they will have this thing where they have it in their mind that you're you're gonna just sneak away or that you're gonna get away from them. You know what I mean? Like they have this, con it feels more like a, a worry or concern. Like they're gonna try to be very persistent to not let you go. I don't know if this is, <clears throat> excuse me, I don't know if this is someone that's let you go before. <clears throat> Sorry, what is going on? I don't know if it's someone who's let you go before or it's someone that you meet 
who's like, wow, I can't let Virgo get away from me. I'm going to do everything I can, make those sacrifices. I don't feel like this person really was ever in a position. They were never truly in love, deep love with anyone enough to sacrifice, them, sacrifice themselves or their beliefs or the things that they did or how they approached life or just other people. I mean, Virgo... <laughs> This just this just feels like like you're it you're everything like this person is completely what will be completely wild by you if they aren't already. Um, there's an element here. I mean, I feel like this person's going to be very like a bit calculating in their approach to you, um, and they're going to wait for the right time to approach when they find out or if they see that you don't have anybody else if you make that known you know when you're by yourself doing whatever you're doing if you're working or you're just you know making it seem somehow you this person finds out that you're not with anybody and they're just kind of like waiting and they believe that you're worth waiting for but they're waiting and biding their time here with the nine of wands before approaching, before sneaking in, <laughs> like slither in like a snake. <laughs> like I said, I don't feel like it, there's any heavy aggression with this person. I just feel like they're waiting for the right time to come towards you. When the time is right for us to be together or for us to be in each other's presence, then they're going to bring in that love offer Okay, then they're going to speak up, start asking you questions. The more they talk to you, Virgo, and the less you reveal, the more attracted they become to you because it just causes them to want to know more, it causes them to be more curious, to explore and figure out or find out what, what the situation is and what's going on and what you're all about. You're being very mysterious, Virgo. Yep, Page of Cups energy here. <clears throat> Okay, so we have our first court card. So for some of you, there's this is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, male or female energy. If it's male, they're more in a passive position, more of a yin. Um, this person is really like looking down at their cup, their emotions, how they feel. And then I see them expressing their feelings towards you. Very sweet, a sweet message, just a little bit of like, you know, first it comes in with the curiosity, like what you're all about, trying to find out, get the deeds and the information about you. And then it, it, the more you guys communicate, then they start talking about their plans or things that they foresee in their future, or what they, um, like what they would like to have, you know, live in a, a new home or their or be married or, you know, um, relocate, whatever it might be. And then the sweet, as time evolves even more than the sweet flirty, it feels like flirting. Now, for some of you, this is an apology. I will say that, okay? For some of you, this is an apology, but it is new love. Now, it could be new love evolving with a past person. Um, it could be new love with somebody new. Um, or someone you're currently connecting with there's a spark you know two people can be in each other's presence for quite some time and that spark of love doesn't hit till later sometimes that happens you know it's not always love at first sight i feel like it's like something just grows here develops here okay there's you nine of pentacles right so there's definitely this person communicating with you um trying to get at the truth of, of if you're single a lot of you are just doing your own thing you're working you're providing for yourselves the best way you can okay um you know focusing a lot of you are focusing on your finances and your work and your career that's like a mainstay or you're getting yourself in a position to be victorious in that in your life and you're just kind of like being happy um enjoying the things that you like to do your solo pleasures and that's very attractive to this person and, and this is this ace of swords this is like 
feel like this person initiates big time. Like at first they're just kind of trying to get information on you, but then like a true communication comes through where this person says, you know, I, I just, they want, if you've had trouble in the past, it's just a past person, they find the clarity to overcome the problems and it's conflict resolution, okay? Um, they present and talk to you about the conflicts in this connection that could show up or that were there in the past. And this sword is often shows up when we have a situation where there's a toxin and it needs to be removed. And this sword represents like surgery. This sword represents getting that sword and going in and removing all the negatives out of the way and, and overcoming obstacles to try to make something happen here. This is like being successful and victorious. Removing the stress. This person comes in, um, gives you clarity and truth that they were dishonest perhaps in their, their past relationships or with you. That they've had poor judgment. That they've had a lot of mental blocks and stress. This person, um, They've also kept to themselves, and this person will tell you that they've pulled away from relationships because they things had happened in their past where they've had poor judgment and they've chosen the wrong person, um, and then they're clearing that away here. They may even tell you that they were with someone, and that person turned out to be extremely dishonest, caused them a lot of problems, um, placed judgment against them, and took all their money. It could be, you know, uh, an ex-spouse. Yeah, here you go. This person may be a father or a, you know, parent, I should say. Um, great lessons has, have been learned that this person is learning. And that emperor energy, we have Aries here. This emperor energy is coming through as somebody who is now more strategic in their planning and their decisions, okay? Um, and standing in a place of respect, self-respect, taking a leadership, taking an active role in what they want in their love lives and with you. And what is that as a family person to be supportive of, of their partner, okay? This person, they wanna be more than a king or a queen for you, they want to be uh, even higher than that, even better. This person looks to be better. This person wants to be with you. They feel they can give you all the love and support that you need. You'll you'll f you'll feel this later going forward if you don't have anybody right now. And this is a past person. Yeah. Okay. I know some of you are like, no, that's over. This person hasn't come back, and I haven't heard from them. It doesn't mean it's not happening within them. Okay, just because you haven't heard anything from this person, it could be, it could be your story. It may not be your story. It could be somebody new for some of you and you just have to wait and see how things plan out or play out here. But that 10 of swords, I'm sorry, that <laughs> 10 of swords. I've, I must have said that for a reason because a 10 of swords is like surrender, okay? It's also a card of betrayal or giving up. <clears throat> Excuse me, it could have something to do with something that may have ended. You know, I've been talking all day and it's only when I'm here recording that oh, I get that thing going on in my throat. Okay. So it's like this, I feel like this person just wants to settle down and be happy, have family contentment and love and support. I feel like this is how they're coming in here. But you do something to this person, Virgo, or you will be. Okay. Oh, look at this. The passion and the drive, the fire. Okay. This person, they've been out in the cold for a long time. Out in the cold. Somebody's wearing green right now. Um, I, I'm also seeing someone with a backpack. Maybe showing up where you are with a backpack. 
or like a camping camping gear for some. Um, they may be in a cold place and now they're coming to a warmer place. But, you know, it's very lustful energy here. This per I just feel like this person becomes on fire for you. Okay. They see you as someone um, <clears throat> who's in a better position to lead. This person, um, you inspire them. You will be inspiring this person, if you haven't already, to take an active role in their life as far as leadership. Um, there's definitely travel here, okay? So I don't know what your situation is. Some of you, it could just be travel from one end of town to the other. From others, there's a bit of distance here. Um, for some of you, it's like five hours. For some, it's 10 hours, which is really far. <laughs> I mean, my goodness, that's like halfway across the globe. Um, and for others, it could be like five to 10 minutes away. Okay. Um, now, I just feel the need to bring a couple other messages here. I just want to see the love. But I can tell you this. Whether this is your past or somebody new, we have... We do have an ace, so this very well could be somebody new. New communication coming in. Um, okay, they just took me away from my thought, and they said, no, do this. Messages of love. Okay, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. And how many times, Virgo, do you sit there and try to sort it out like a damn puzzle? Like a Rubik's Cube, why is this happening? What is going on here? Why is this person in your life? Why is somebody not in your life? What's the situation? I feel like the message here for you right now, Virgo, is just accept things as they are. It is what it is, Virgo. It is what it is. Let it all be. Just let things fall. Let the cards fall as they may. Just accept your situation as it is right now because it does happen for a reason and usually you don't find out until after the fact. That's why they say hindsight. <clears throat> Foresight, if you have it, great. If you already know why some things are going the way they're going in your life, great. But I feel like somebody here, I'm not sure exactly who it is, I feel like it's a little bit of both. It's someone from the past that you went quiet on or has gone quiet on you. And for others, it's someone that you haven't met yet. Or it could be someone you're just starting to talk to. Okay, second chance. Oh my God, this relationship deserves a second chance or another chance. Okay, and now we've got that twice. Okay, there's another chance at love here for somebody. There's another chance. All is not lost, Virgo. Now I have to I have to say this, like disclaimer. If you're in a very abusive relationship with someone, and I'm talking somebody who's got like some type of mental disorder or um, severe addictions or something, you know, that's a whole different reading. And I don't condone people going back to abusive relationships. I, I condone, hey, single as a Pringle, ain't getting involved with no shit stains, not going back to the past unless somebody has got their act clear, cleaned up or somebody's coming in in a completely different way, okay? So if your situation, you have a past lover coming back into your life and it was just not progressing and it felt toxic or unhealthy, you know, you have to make the determination, obviously. I'm just here giving the messages. I'm certainly not saying you should give another chance to someone who was beating you or manipulating you or a narcissist. I definitely don't say that. I'm giving the message, and after you listen to this reading, if this reading pans out for you, and that is that person coming back, no, this relationship does not deserve a second chance if they're coming back in with the same energy. And that's when you need to walk. Keep it moving, Virgo. You got to keep it moving. Okay? This could be, for those of you who made that decision, you're done. There's a second chance at love here in your life. Perhaps with somebody new. 
look, this is what I'm saying. It's up to you, Virgo. New love. Okay? New love or a, re or a recommitment to an old love, to an old flame. Okay, Virgo? So you have to make the determination. A new love. For some of you, this is, this is both. For some, listen, Virgo. We've got two, you may have two energies who are feeling the exact same way as each other coming towards you. You could have someone coming back, trying to reestablish this connection with you, okay? Spying on you. And you could also have somebody new in your life. <laughs> Happens every day. Why? Because Virgo, you got drama. You're like a Netflix series. All right, one more. Okay, true love. Well, whichever love partner this is, it's emotional, physical, and unconditional. Okay? Somebody or two people are feeling that way. I'm, we're going with that. <clears throat> that's what I feel like is going on. I don't feel like it's just one. I feel like it's two people. And that's usually the way it goes. Once you let go of a past relationship, you open your heart to a new love. That's when the past comes back. And you never have new love coming in when you're still holding on to the past. That's just how it works. And not often is when you let go of someone from the past and get somebody new that the past comes back. Not always the case, but it does tend to happen. Okay, let's see what other messages there are here for you. What else does Virgo need to know what's going on in their life? From this time that they're listening to the reading going into the middle of January. What other messages are here? Whoa. Okay. Oh my God. Virgo. Oh my gosh. New love start. I'm telling you. Oh my goodness. That's twice. Look at this. Look at this. You can't make this up. <laughs> new love, new love. Twice. Okay. And you've also got somebody here who's hitting rock bottom. That's the Ten of Swords. Okay, you've got somebody here who's hitting rock bottom and is ready for a new start with you. There's forgiveness. There's recovery happening. Oh my goodness. Virgo, I think you're going to be in a dilemma. You're going to be in a dilemma. Again, as always. As always. Let's see what else. Okay, secure home. Virgo's like, I'm locking myself in my fucking room. I, I'm shutting off my phone and I'm disappearing from everyone because there's two people here. And Virgo's like, I cannot deal with this right now. It's the holidays. I'm working my ass off. I've got all this other stuff on my plate. I've got my kids, my grandkids, uh, whatever else I have going on in my life. And I really want new love, but I can't be dealing with having to make, I shouldn't. Virgo, you're like, I don't want to keep making double choices. I don't want to have to go through this, but guess what? Life's not fair. You can wish in one hand and shit in the other and see which comes out first. Life's not fair. And sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Some of you are trying to secure a new home or a new place or trying to make your home more secure. At this time, maybe you're getting some cameras, security cameras. Some of you are um, putting a security deposit down on a, on a new home or um, putting a down payment. Um, some of you are actually going to be getting the keys to your new home very soon. Or you're having more keys made. Somebody's having keys made. Okay, there's a material wish being granted. That's what I said here. Okay, so this kind of feels like... Um, like you're going to have some financial gains. Maybe after the holidays when you've depleted your bank account <laughs> with all your shopping. You're going to get that money. It's going to replenish. All right. Um, and material things. So a home... Um, items or things that you want, you know, vehicles, um, 
just material things there's something for some of you that you have been wishing and hoping for and i feel like you're going to receive that it's going to be granted to you it's like kind of somebody's been rubbing the genie <laughs> asking for their wishes and uh, one of them being a material wish you're going to get that oh my gosh virgo i can't you know what i'm about ready to stop this reading okay the past returns and a new love start all right virgo listen listen to me virgo listen to me i said what i needed to say i said what i needed to say let's take a look at this past love i want to see what they're I'm just going to pull two messages if they could tell you anything or what you need to know they're hidden their their truth they're hidden the things that they hide and that they haven't said or the way they're feeling a past person because i know some of you are curious it's fine you can be curious you don't have to take anybody back but you can be curious this person is afraid to contact you virgo right now they are they're waiting they're waiting for the right time this person wants to be with you they want you they still want you okay we're not going to go any deeper with that energy um all right, let's see what your other messages are here. You know, I am, I'm gonna pull from a different deck. Give me just a second. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, as I said, with the holidays, I'm doing my best to get on here, okay, um, every day. But there's going to be, like, some days I'm not going to be able to get on every single day. I hope that you will be patient with me and understand. Um, after the holidays, we'll be back in full force. All right, let me see. All right, Virgo, you're very close to achieving your goal. So some kind of goal you have set, it's on the way. It is on the way, whatever you're doing in your life. And expect powerful change. New moon eclipse. Expect a powerful change. Powerful. Earth shattering. Earth moving. Universe moving change. Okay, conclusions are within reach. This is good news. This is good for you, Virgo. Be bold and make the first move in your life. Whatever you're doing, don't sit. Don't be passive. Make your moves, Virgo. Do what you got to do to make things work out in your favor. Don't be afraid. Take those steps, Virgo. It's only, it's only the first step that's the hardest to take, right? Because we can procrastinate. After the first step is taken, then it gets easy. It's all downhill from there. Let's see. Okay. Oh my gosh, you have the Knight of Cups again. There's definitely love coming into you or towards you. Because you're, you're looking so good. You're looking fine. You dressed well. You've got your luxuries, whatever they might be. You're, you're just looking fantastic and very attractive and independent. And it's just you're drawing someone into you. Okay. For some of you, that's Pisces. I just keep picking up jewels jewels i don't know if somebody listens to jewel or somebody does work with jewels or stones okay wow here you go virgo point blank period virgo i mean it's just amazing sometimes i think spirit just keep they want to repeat the messages here you are male or female looking good standing tall you get your money in the bank you are secure some of you like i said you're getting a new home you're taking care of your business you're doing what you need to do and then you've got two lovers coming in towards you one's lusty fiery passionate about you the other is very melancholy and loving and sweet and emotional <laughs> this is what's happening here i'm not even kidding two loves two lovers 
Um, okay, give me a second. Now, somebody lives near water. Okay, that's the first thing I need to say. Some of you are getting, um, a, receiving a gift. I just heard that, receiving a gift. Somebody has some gray hair or gray in their hair. <clears throat> and somebody's got brown gloves. They wear brown gloves. Not black, not blue, not orange, brown. Has a pair of brown, brown leather gloves. And somebody also has uh, brown hair too. Well, that could be anybody. But they're just giving me an image of someone with brown hair. And somebody drives a gray vehicle, like a gray car. Oh, and then they just said somebody's got reddish brown hair. That's what they're trying to tell me. It's reddish brown. All right, let's see what other messages there are here for you, Virgo. Okay. All right, we definitely have someone's in Aries. Okay. Oh, hmm. What the? Um, somebody's name is Lily or Lillian or Lily. Or there's a L-I-L or someone calls someone Little, Lil, Little Star. Somebody says Little Star. Hmm. And I'm also seeing someone with a lot of arm tattoos, but they're spaced. It's not like a sleeve. For some, it's, well, I'll just, it's just tattoos on the arm and on the forearms. Or a tattoo on a forearm. Okay. I'm also seeing a stained glass window. Very beautiful. Or maybe it's, it could be like a vinyl stick on, on a window. Okay, I see someone working on uh, scaffolding, <laughs> like outside of a building. There's like or a home or uh, like construction or something. I'm seeing scaffolding or someone. Maybe you're walking past that, or you're near that. Maybe in a city, there's scaffolding on the side of a road. Um, we have a letter C. Also something on December 16th and December 17th is going to be significant. December 16th and December 17th. Okay. And I just heard somebody say, I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon. So maybe there's plans being made and somebody, you know, writes at the bottom or text I'll see you soon or see you soon I just heard um, we also have um, somebody born, it could be like a, a June birthday okay um, some there's a maybe it's a telephone number I don't I'm just seeing four six one. Okay. Um, also six one zero. Oh, somebody's got a bearded dragon. And um, I know somebody lights their own fireworks. Somebody does their own fireworks, or that's connected to fireworks or lighting. Or maybe a tiki torch or fireworks or something. Okay. Okay, somebody's bringing their cat to the, the vet, maybe, or an animal to be seen by a vet. Maybe adopting a pet. There's, there's an energy of adopting a pet.
with the letter A. Okay. Somebody lives in Akron, Ohio. Or near there. Or in Ohio. Okay. They're just telling me Akron. Hmm. Does somebody have a screensaver with like waterfalls or something? I'm just seeing waterfalls, like a screensaver with waterfalls. Oh, this is their time, you guys, that you have the Knight of Cups in your readings. So there's definitely love coming in. There's a proposal, romantic offer, um, a love proposal coming in here. Okay, somebody's birthday's on the 19th. Somebody's born in 1969 or 96. And I'm, being, I'm feeling like, um, I'm feeling a strong Piscean energy in this reading. Okay. And um, I'm seeing like the koi fish, two koi fish swirling around in a circle, chasing each other's tail. Okay. Oh. Okay. Somebody's getting roses, or will be receiving roses, or giving roses. Um, I just heard 1967. And somebody drive a car that says I don't know if it's G, G X, G X. And again, they're telling me somebody's 47. But I'm hearing like GX, like a, I don't know what that is. It could be a car, or maybe it's a part of a license plate number, GX. Okay. I'm hearing John, or John or Joe, Joseph, Joanne. Okay. Um, they just said somebody's coming home on the 21st of December. Okay. All this energy, like in this month. Okay. And somebody's like a jock or an athlete or something or a jock. They just said, tell them this person's a jock. They eat a lot of fruit or apples. Somebody eats a lot of apples or is eating apples right now. There's fruit. Okay. Let's get a couple of charms. Okay, somebody works with a hammer, is working with a hammer right now. Okay. All right, I got a, a bunch. Somebody's getting a, um, a child's rocking horse, buying one or giving one. Maybe it's something that's, um, oh, and I'm just seeing pearl earrings. I'm seeing pearl earrings. On a child's rocking horse, somebody's having a little boy. Maybe it's like a unicorn or it's like a, like a little toy. Somebody's having a little boy, baby boy. Okay. Um, now again, with the key, like I said, somebody's like settling on a home or something. There's a key. Somebody's getting a key for a home or received one. Um, and then we have a dragonfly. So there's definitely an energy of... Um, a messenger if you see dragonflies anywhere you see one i don't care where you see it if you just your eyes settle on an image of a dragonfly there's somebody's it's a message that i'm feeling is you're going to be receiving some communication from someone oh and then there's also somebody's having twins but there it's a boy and a girl a boy and a girl twins here okay um Um, somebody's sh watching Jurassic Park with their kids also picking that up um, or some or there's a little child who likes dinosaurs a real lot and then there's a little girl who likes little fairies 
Tinkerbell fairy kind of thing. And I'm also seeing like this. Oh, they just gave me. How strange. Cheshire cat. So I don't know if it's like Cheshire is a place that somebody lives. Okay. Cheshire. Cheshire. And then um, I'm hearing the, the lyrics to Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. <laughs> These are so sweet. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Twinkle, twinkle, little star. I don't know. Oh, and then I'm also, okay. Somebody's saying to you, they're telling me to tell you, uh, this could be someone who's passed. They're saying happy Hanukkah. Okay. Happy Hanukkah. That's what I'm hearing. So I feel like that's coming from someone who's passed that maybe you're connected to. They're wishing you that happy holiday, happy Hanukkah energy towards you okay and also there's someone who um there's a garden i'm seeing a garden and i'm seeing um like an angel in a garden holding like a little ball like maybe a crystal ball or some kind of ball of some sort like i'm just seeing a garden with pretty i don't know if it's peonies or um it's like it's a wildflower garden this maybe you have an you or someone you know there's a wild flower garden or someone's building one right now or is making plans to build one or thinking about doing something in the in the home or in the backyard with wildflowers okay so i'm gonna leave your messages there that was an interesting read um nothing too harsh it feels the you know i don't know if you guys have noticed but as of late the energy has felt very lovey-dovey and very sweet and magical. And I feel like that's going to keep playing out. I'm not too sure, but I just feel like there's a message here that I need to tell you. That whatever you're worrying about right now, Virgo, whatever's going on, like when you begin, to, I don't know if any of you, I, this happens to me all the time. And of course, you know, I get downloads and messages. I can feel when something's coming. I can feel it. And then maybe the next day or so, that thing actually happens. You know, it's, it's almost like a vibrational energy, you know, like the thought comes into my head and then I can feel throughout my body that something is about to occur. It's almost like a premonition in a lot of ways, but I know exactly what it is. And then lo and behold, it happens. If you're getting that, that happen to you, if that happens to you, trust that. Okay. Trust that. Don't negate it. Don't push it away. Because I, I feel like somebody's trying to tell you here that if you've been feeling some things that have caused you a sense of worry or you like it comes into your head, you know exactly what it is and then you feel it, know that it's, it, it's going to be okay. That's what I just keep hearing. Whatever you're concerned about or this thing, it just comes out of nowhere. Know that it's going to be okay, that things are going to work out. Okay, don't panic. Don't worry. Things are going to work out for the best. Have that hope. Be in, stay in faith. I feel like that's just a very strong message for someone in particular. And, um, you know, the next reading, I'm going to show you guys. Um, actually, if you join my membership, um, I have a special thing that I'm going to share with the, my members only um, in the live stream readings. And I think you're going to really get a kick out of it. You're going to like it. It's, it's kind of a fortune teller thing that I'm doing. Um, I have not seen anybody do this on YouTube, so I'm not going to give it away what it is. But once you join, you're going to find out and we're going to have so much fun with it. You're going to love it. So I hope you guys do join um, and be a part of the House of Virgo family club. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of fun going into the new year. We're going to be doing a lot of cool stuff and really just chit-chatting back and forth. And I'll be live, so you'll, we'll be able to talk back and forth. I'll respond to you. And you'll have unlimited messages. You know, you can ask a question and I'll pull cards. You can ask many cards, many questions as you want. And we're going to do that. Like, I'm really going to give you some perks here. So I'm just going to leave your reading there for now. All right, you guys. <laughs> Please do hit like, share, and subscribe on the way out. Please stay in faith. Please be helpful to others and be happy with yourselves. Um, and yeah, don't forget to check out the merchandise down below the video. Okay, I think you're going to like some of the the um, items that I have. We've got like Singles of Pringle. I'm not the F-Boy Whisperer. <laughs> Shirts. 
um, no shit stains, you name it, it's all there. So if, if you want to get, I think there's discounts on that my store that are still active, and I think you can get stuff before the holidays. Um, and I'm going to start putting my logo on there and stuff, and you guys will be able to get that stuff too. All right, I've talked too much. Love you guys. I will see you all hopefully tomorrow, if not the day after. I'll do my best to be here. So have a wonderful week, and I will talk to you all later. All right, take care. Bye.